Hi, my name is Cindy Brown, and I am a current undergraduate student at the University of Southern Mississippi. I was also a 29 Chipep Scholar, and today I'm going to talk about finding research and clinical experiences. So I'm going to share a presentation with you all. Okay, so just to begin, I'm going to mention virtual opportunities as well as local and national opportunities to be as inclusive as possible regarding people's situations. So for clinical experiences, the easiest way to start in this area is to just contact your own physician or dentist for any shadowing opportunities since you've already kind of built that connection with them. You can also contact local clinics or hospital systems. There are more restrictions with that regarding things like getting a tuberculosis test, uh, flu shots, it just depends on the hospital and what their guidelines are. So you might have to have some preliminary steps before you can shadow. You can also reach out to your campus clinic. They usually have nurse practitioners, nurses, PAs, physicians, different healthcare providers in those clinics. And that is a great opportunity to shadow as well. That might be a little closer to home on your campus if you're still in school. There are also hospital volunteer programs. I'm personally in an ambassador's program at my, at my local hospital. And through participating in that program, we get, a, we get like a shadowing opportunity after completing about 20 hours of volunteering. And so you can contact those coordinators of those programs and see if they're able to get you any connections with shadowing or while you're doing the volunteering, you can try and make those connections with physicians that you pass by. There are also virtual shadowing programs, including the pre-med scene, as well as pre-health shadowing. Those are both names of different groups that I've seen on Instagram, and they have their own websites. I've even seen them on LinkedIn. They have a lot of different opportunities for you to shadow, and they provide certificates at the end of the program. You should definitely check if the professional school you're applying to accepts virtual shadowing hours, but from my understanding, the ones that I was looking at, a lot of them are accepting it because it was kind of hard the past two years to get into shadowing. All right, research experiences. So there are two virtual summer ones that I've heard about and could find. There's APSA, the American Physician Scientists Association. They have a virtual summer research program and you are able to pick different categories of kind of the research you're interested in. They try to pair you as best as possible. There's also the Summer STEM Institute. You can also, if you are more in-person friendly in your area, then there might be state INBRI programs. INBRI is an acronym. These programs are usually held at different universities and colleges. So it does depend on your school if they even offer this program. Um, I know there are in brief facilities around the nation and they allow students to come in and practice using different tools, techniques, such as practicing using a confocal microscope and things like that. So just type in your state and in brief next to the name and it should pop up which universities are offering these programs. For example, Mississippi in brief is located, I think, at five different universities and they all offer SERP programs. So going to the next bullet point, SERP means Summer Undergraduate Research Program. A lot of professional schools or undergraduate schools offer these programs. Some have stipends even for travel or housing. Again, this is all dependent on if it's in person or virtual, but the stipends really help if you are applying out of state or to a university that's a little bit further away. Some of our states are larger than others. So travel is definitely something you have to think about. Um, but yeah, professional schools offer SERP programs, and it's a great way to also have access to their campus and faculty and see if that's somewhere you want to be in the future when you apply to their professional program. You can also check out your academic institution for any research fairs, any lab flyers in the, in the buildings, or even reach out to a professor yourself for inquiry about openings in their lab. If there's a professor you had a really great connection with in their class, Maybe reach out to them and say, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I took your class last semester or whenever you took it, and I was really interested in the research that you were mentioning, and I was wondering if you had an opening, something like that. Just make sure you're always professional in these, in these interactions, and people will try to help you out the best they can. But I hope that these, these topics that I hit really help you in finding research and clinical experiences and 
there are some times where it's going to be harder than others to find these, but um, yeah, I hope these tools kind of help you out. All right, thank you.